Well, Chris, blood, sweat, yeah. but no tears today. Yeah, no, it was, uh, we needed a win. Um, we've been working hard a week and we've all gone into the game. Uh, like with the ambition to get three points today and we knew it would be a tough game. Every time you play Millwall, you know it's going to be physical, it's going to be a lot of long balls into the box and um, we need to step up to that and I think we did that very well today and luckily in the end the quality shone through and got three points. You say step up, is that the real pleasing thing for, for the whole group? Yeah, I think it's pleasing for everyone um, to know that we can go out and compete against some sort of teams. Um, I think we've shown enough times so, that although we're a nice pretty football team on the ball, we won't be bullied and I think we showed that today. And, I think there were so many individual battles all over the pitch and I like to think we came out on top and against a team like Millwall, that's got to be the bare minimum matching them in terms of the physical contact and then hopefully um, we can show that bit of quality to get the win. And walking away with a, of a clean sheet and the three points, must be a delighted dressing room in there. Yeah, it is. Like I said, everyone's uh, buzzing and we feel like it's long overdue, the three points, but um, it is a tough league and there's no easy games in this league and and Millwall, when you're on a run like this, is probably one of the hardest teams to play because we're not full of confidence at the minute and we know it'll be hard, but like I said, we stepped up to it really well and I'm sure everyone's really pleased, including the manager. You say obviously Millwall, not, the, not an easy team to play at any stage, but on that run of form, again, another thing that maybe makes that win slightly more special. Yeah, it is. Um, see, there's no, uh, like I said, there's no easy team in this league, but I think Millwall, are probably about the most physical team in the league and you look at the strikers up front today you had um, Gregory, Tom Elliott and Morrison coming on so there was a big team and like I said we, we matched them which is really pleasing uh, so I'm sure they play teams that they dominate in terms of individual and physical battles and we wouldn't let that happen today and that's really pleasing in itself. And eight without a win before today how did you guys keep the belief up? I think just having that uh, confidence so we're a really good team and I think we was a little bit unlucky to not come away with anything against Norwich obviously Neil Mope missed a big chance in the second half um, but yeah I think just stick into our principles and don't panic and that's been really good because I think Thomas has been really calm this week I think some managers might go into like a panic station and, and that could uh, like go across to the players but he stayed nice and calm and the coaching staff have tried to give us confidence going into this game which we needed and as players we got behind everyone and we pulled through. Nice for the players to get the win but obviously Thomas as well a, a first win as head coach. Yeah we're all buzzing for Thomas um, again I think he's coming at a time and, and I, I don't think he's tried to change too much I think he's uh, tried to uh, sort of add small bits but he hasn't come in and changed it and obviously when the results aren't going our way when Thomas has come in I think people on the outside might think that he's trying to change too much but he's been exactly the same he's been really calm around the training ground and he just said to us like the results will turn uh, just keep doing what we're doing and, and that was really pleasing I'm pleased to get the first win for Thomas. You talk about his calmness and, and not changing too much how much does that help you at players? Yeah it does because I think change can always be uh, can sometimes be good sometimes be bad but we weren't playing bad football um, so it was just important to stick to our principles and uh, carry on doing what we do best, which is playing football and try and uh, break teams down. We're not going to start panicking. We're not going to start lumping balls into the box um, just because we're on an eight game uh, without a win. So it was definitely important that the coach, the coaching staff sort of uh, typified that we got to stick to our principles and, and the wins will come. And you alongside Ezra, you seem to have formed a really good partnership on the pitch, but you also seem like good mates off it as well. Does that help? Yeah, it, it always does. Uh, I think everyone, anyone who I've played centre-back with has been really good and I've had really good relationships with them. I think obviously me and Ezra being similar sort of ages, we've got a lot in common and yeah, we've got a really good relationship off the pitch, which then we bring onto the pitch and we're always encouraging each other. And I know that he's got my back on the pitch and I've got his, and that is important for quite a young partnership for this league. And the three points today obviously sets everything up quite nicely for the, the small amount of a trip to QPR next weekend. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's going to be another tough game. Um, they're on a really good run at the minute. I'm not sure what the result was today, but uh, they've been playing some good football and since McLaren has taken over, they seem to be different. So it's going to be another tough game. And obviously being a derby game like today, there's that bit more emphasis on getting a result. I'm sure Peter Gillen would agree. Um, but yeah, we'll look to go into that game and obviously... We've ended that eight-game uh, winless run, so 
there's no reason why we can't go out there full of confidence.